Hey guys, Relax here, and today we're doing another deck profile. Uh, this time we're going to go through uh, Harry, uh, since Harry got support in GBT 8. Well, GB then GBT 9 is going to come around, but anyways, uh, yeah, we're getting close to GBT 9 and the new Shadow stuff. But we'll when that day comes, we'll uh, do something about that. But right now, deck profile Harry. Let's get started. Uh, nothing. Uh, the deck didn't really change that much a few minor changes here and there but otherwise like it's technically still kind of the same the start is still the same we still run mr puss in boots really good starter uh for me in my opinion you know um people people might say otherwise i know bermuda king doesn't like it because he doesn't get pushed back because he doesn't have a forerunner but once you stride and you do all the shindigs with his skill. He calls out when you stride or when another something places on top of Vanguard GB GB one. You pull him out, then you pull something else out, then combos ensue. So yeah, still like him. Uh, grade threes, obviously four Harrys. Harry's your main boss. You want to be on Harry, otherwise you're gonna cry. The deck won't work as well. Uh, stride counter boss one. Soul charge, call something out, get plus five K. GBT2, um, GBT2 skill, attack, one attack, uh, choose a card from your soul, call it, guess plus both him and the card that calls out, get plus 3k. So yeah, strap boss, you need him, otherwise you're gonna have a bad time. Uh, the great, uh, okay, so I changed it, it's no longer look here, it's two flying manticores. Um, even though I didn't really talk much about it or didn't, like, I just added it to the deck now, um, people already know what the skill does. His second skill, he is the Magia Searcher for Count Boss 1, Soul Boss 1. Uh, then he has a GB1 on hit skill on the Rear Guard Circle that if he hits, uh, you Soul Charge 1, choose one card from with the Magia ability from your soul, call it to Rear Guard, and it gets plus 2k to enter, and it goes back into soul. So, Magia. Finally, I run uh, two. Ooh, I run two of the Beast Tamer Mariel. Uh, she came out in GBT08. Uh, and I like her. She's fine. Uh, so first skill is uh, Magia Count Boss 1 when she's placed on Vanguard Circle uh, You can search for one grade one or less with a Magia card uh, Magia ability and from your soul Call it to rear guard and then enter and go attacking soul so Magia does Magia And then generation break 1 when she's called out from soul This unit gets plus 2k and then if she gets called out from the Magia ability she, be, she gets an 3k So she has a 15k attacker if you call her out due to Magia that's technically why I'm running her, because she's a 15k attacker on her own. So yeah. On uh, grade 2s, didn't change much either. Uh, still 4 Dark Side Princess. I like her a lot. 14k attacker, and she goes in soul, so she, yeah. Uh, 4 Flying Peritons. Still hasn't changed. That's still there. What did change is this. I'm, <laughs> I'm running three of the dual horn, uh, rest our dual horns. Uh, so his first skill is uh, when he's called to re uh, rear guard from the soul, he gets uh, a 2k, so he becomes a 11k attacker. And then his second skill is soul blast one, which is oh my god, you're freaking soul blasting in, in pale moon. What are you doing? Uh, if you have like if you have like junk cards in your soul, you can just you can just pay. You can just do that. With all the like with the cards that blind or like top deck soul charge, you're not gonna soul you're gonna soul charge some cards you don't want or like it's useless in the soul, so you can just soul charge it out or soul blast out with like this and another card and mill ward. But anyways, uh so yeah. Our skill is Magia, Soul Blast One. When he's placed on the rear guard circle from your soul due to a Magia ability, you can pay the cost. If you do, choose one card from your soul, call it to your rear guard. In the sim column is this one, and then end of turn it goes back into the soul. Uh, so yeah, um, only downside that soul blast one, but since you're blind soul charging from the, from top deck anyways, you you might soul charge something you don't want, so you can just soul blast it out no problem. And, and he's all another, another another negative that he he does call something in the same column, so it just restricts him. You restrict the card to a column that he's in. Although well, otherwise he's a good. He's, I like him. 11k attacker. He only soul blasts, so no count blast. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, great ones. Four stride fodders. You need it. Uh, 
four of your other combo piece paratrooper uh, still the same works well off with your cat so you pull a cat out you pull her out then you use her skill to call something else she's your so she's basically your grade one ride you should be riding her in grade one because then you have her in the soul so yeah so Jenner's your big one when she's caught up to a Magia ability, which is the cat. Um, so charge one, then call something in the same column as her. Yes, plus 5k. So yeah, amazing. Like her. Uh, two of this card. Uh, she's your counter charger on hit. Uh, she's just there as a tech. Uh, she's just, uh, 7k body. That's nice. When she's called out from soul, she becomes a 9k so a booster so, or, or attacker. That's good. And then, on hit, so uh, on hit when she boosts a, a a card and it hits the vanguard, you can uh, soul blast one to counter charge one. Uh, I don't see, I don't use her for the on hit. I use her for her to become a nine k booster. So yeah, counter charging is nice. And um, four GPGs, one SP because you know I'm I'm a lucky guy. Uh, yeah, although you don't really. Counterblast that much in this deck. Uh, Harry counterblasts. He counterblasts. She counterblasts. Uh, no, does she? No, she does counterblasts. Uh, no, not Harry. And actually, yeah, you don't really counterblast that much in the deck, but I, don't know, I like her. And we have and I have an SP of her too. So why not? Uh, trigger lineup has not changed. Eight crits, four of the Harry crit, four of the Margot crit. So yeah. Uh, I'm just leave it up there because I'm lazy. Uh, for Stan, the Stan is good because if she gets chill charge, you can just you can put whatever instead of her. So yeah, amazing. And then uh, four heals because heals are gonna heal and G Garden is a thing. So yeah. On to the G Zone. G Zone is also pretty much the same ish. A few changes. Um, Kristoff is still run for Mephisto. Uh, I like Mephisto a lot. Uh, I did try him at three, uh, but I feel like four would be the best for him. So yeah. So uh, flip. So skill is flip anything. Um, then your Vanguard gets skilled that for every face up copy of Mephisto in the G zone. All units get one plus one K. So. At max, you can get 3k. Um, and then, if for every two face up card in your G zone with the Magia ability, choose a card from your soul, call it to a rear guard, and it gets plus 5k. Uh, and then goes back to the other turn. So, yeah. Nothing much else to say about Mephisto. Uh, then, three Mel Wards. Uh, GR from the first collection. Oh, that glare is pretty bad. Uh, so, yeah. So, last one. Flip anything, uh, choose two cards from your soul, and then call them to separate regards that you get port K each. And then for every face up copy of Mill Ward in your G zone, choose one of your rear guard, uh, one of your re 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 choose one of your units, and then until end of turn, that unit gets the skill uh, Vanguard Circle when uh, Vanguard or Guard Circle when the attack hits. You choose a card from your soul and call it to a rear guard with a unit on it. Uh, I don't like that skill much. I just I like her um, call to unit gets plus four k. That's essentially what I use her for. Uh, next three prana. This is still kind of iffy on me, uh, but she's the new strat that came out in uh, GBT08. Uh, so her skill is counterblast one and choose a face card. To, uh, choose a face card. Ugh. Choose a face down card from your G zone and turn it face up. And then choose a card from your hand and put it into your soul. Choose up to the same number of cards with a Magia ability in the soul for as the same number of cards face um as the same number of cards in your G zone and call them to separate rear guard. At the end of the turn, if you have if the number of face up cards of um, Prana you have in your G zone is one or less, put all the cards in that you called into your soul. If it's two or more, then you can choose any number so this basically helps with um, Diablo plays if you're playing against Diablo 
and you know that they're gonna kill you if you don't keep any rear guards. If you have at least two of her, uh, you can choose any number and just win the solo. Just make sure you have enough rear guards to have to sack when Diablo happens, or I think right Geki too. Uh, v Max maybe might help if they don't have a shit ton of uh, voltages in your in um uh volt or voltage strides face up in the G zone. So yeah. Uh otherwise um yeah she's alright. Uh next uh two Jester Dragons. He's there for the crit. Um, he's the only stride in this deck that provides, uh, some kind of death pressure. Uh, like, Mephisto, just add power boost. Melward has the on hit thing, but then you're, you're losing cards in your field. This guy basically just like, hey, I get a crit to your face. Um, otherwise, that's about it. Oh, yeah, and cards get called out from him, gets plus two, from the soul, gets plus 2k. And it's alright. But otherwise, um, yeah, he gets a crit. Uh, G-Guards, two, uh, Magic Trick Furnival. He's basically, he's one of the few Soul Chargers that you actually get to choose somewhat to, to put into to put into your soul. Uh, he gets plus 5k shield when you put a grade 1 or higher card into your soul when you check top 3. So yeah, um, one Maja? Uh, she, I like her, uh, because we're playing a Magia deck, she gets the first part where she gets 5k shield, and then you choose a card from your soul, and then calls, and then call it out to, um, to Rearguard Circle, then in a turn, you can, um, shove it back in, so you can basically, you can basically, um, call out a grade 2 for, for intercepting, and if not, you can um, put it back into soul. After uh, she will, she's gonna be really useful when I guess when uh, V Max comes out, because V Max can can ping you for one if you don't have any cards on your field. Uh, so if you at least have an open rear guard circle, you can use her skill to call something out. And since that card hasn't been targeted, it's okay. So yeah, and then uh, one screw. I don't know, you can put whatever on the G guard and you can add one more Furnival, you can add one more Maja. I, I chose to put in the screw because these guys are just 5k shield extra. So they become 20k shield, he becomes 25k shield. So a big shield there for, you know, just in case. And yeah, that's basically it. Um, overall, the deck is the deck is still alright. Um, but I find myself, when I'm playing this deck... I feel like it's not really doing anything too much. Uh, like, I don't know. I feel like this, the, I don't know how to explain it. It's like, the deck isn't really doing much until, yeah, I really don't know how to explain it. It's like, it feels kind of irks when I play it. So, yeah. But overall, it's still it's still pretty still pretty fun deck to play. Um, so yeah. Otherwise, if you think I should add something or take something, out, if you think I should replace the card or uh, change this uh, the G zone a bit, you can add, you can put down a comment. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.